Oh, Christ. <laughs> Three gratifying epilogues were given to Mike Armantrot, the murderous hitman employed by Jonathan Banks in Better Call Saul, El Camino, and Breaking Bad. In the Breaking Bad series, Mike Armantrot receives three flawless send-offs, including the prequel Better Call Saul and the follow-up film El Camino. In the world of Breaking Bad, each character struggles between their evil and light sides. Jesse Pinkman's rebellious identity is destroyed when he descends into a life of drugs and crime, while Jimmy McGill's greed causes him to create Saul Goodman. Walter White embraces his lowest wants once his death is imminent. Mike Armantrot, played by Jonathan Banks, is a decent caring grandfather who poses as a lethal hitman. Mike is a former cold-blooded police officer who now works as a criminal enforcer for criminals like Saul Goodman, Gustavo Fring, and Walter White. While he avoids danger better than most criminals thanks to his amazing speed and efficiency, even it does not ensure a happy conclusion for him. In the original series, Walter White kills Mike in a fit of rage, despite the fact that Mike survives the aftermath of Gus Fring's killing, the D's investigation, and Lydia's clumsy attempts to hide her tracks. For a Breaking Bad character, it's a largely happy conclusion. If anybody associated with Heisenberg's empire deserved to go that way, it was Mike. But he also earned two other cathartic moments that put an end to his journey at different points in the Breaking Bad franchise. El Camino features a conversation between Mike and Jesse, where they discuss an ideal destination, where they could start over. Mike mentions Alaska, which ends up being the place Jesse escapes to at the end of El Camino. The Better Call Saul finale also says goodbye to Mike with a conversation between him and Jimmy where they share what they'd do if they had a time machine. Mike says that he would go back to 2001, to when his son Matt died, before changing his answer to 1984, the year he accepted his first bribe, which sent him down a criminal path. All three of Mike's endings portray him as a pure person at heart, whereas Walter White, Jimmy McGill, and Jesse Pinkman still have some learning to do before they get their due. Mike's breaking bad ending keeps getting sadder, but better, all three of Mike or Mantrot's endings are tragic in their own way. Make sure they're doing okay. His death in Breaking Bad feels unfair for such a noble character that no longer poses any threat to either side, and it feels even more heartbreaking considering that his death doesn't even benefit Walter White, who Mike severely underestimates. El Camino highlights how Mike doesn't get to enjoy the ideal future that he longed for, but it shows that his dreams at least live on with Jesse Pinkman, as Jesse's escape to Alaska materializes the peaceful life that neither Mike nor his son Matt nor his other son figures, Nacho Varga and Werner Ziegler, could attain. Lastly, Better Call Saul confirms that Mike had already regretted the choices he made long before his death. Number 8, 2001. Each of Mike's farewell scenes sends him further back in the Breaking Bad timeline, but also develops a deeper layer of his character. Mike Ermantrit's three Breaking Bad endings also make him the voice of reason for all three protagonists close to their own send-offs. Mike's death shows Walter White, how senseless his obsession is when he doesn't even accept Walt's apologies during his last moments. El Camino's flashback allows Mike to provide a sliver of hope for Jesse by showing him the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. And in the Better Call Saul finale, Mike subtly reminds Jimmy that, sooner or later, he has to stop thinking about superficial matters like money and start caring for his loved ones, which Jimmy ultimately does when he chooses the high road and lets his Saul Goodman and Gene Takavik personas die. For a character who started with a minimal role in Breaking Bad's early episodes, Jonathan Banks Mike Armantrot certainly received quite a thorough development. I'm not finding the words I'd like, so let's pause it for a second. Just one second.